Hello, and welcome to your Plan Year 2020-2021 Open Enrollment Webinar. Uh, your open enrollment dates for this upcoming plan year will be February 10th through February 21st. So we hope that you enjoy and get a lot of information out of this presentation. We're happy to welcome you all to the 18th Annual Open Enrollment for the iCuba members. Um, shown on the screen here are the logos of all of our members, so thank you very much for being part of iCuba. Here is a sneak peek of some of the things we'll be reviewing with you today. On the left-hand side, what's new for April 2020? There is a low increase on your medical premiums. We are introducing the new iCuba Group AFLAC benefits for critical illness, hospital indemnity, and accident plan. We have some rally program enhancements with the introduction to the physician results form. We'll talk about your new Symmetra life insurance offerings. We'll also discuss flexible spending limits, dependent verification, and how you can confirm your personal phone number and email address during your enrollment to be entered in, into a drawing for a prize. On the left-hand side, we'll be reviewing some of the same great benefits that you currently have. iCuba creates best in access to care um, by way of our single sign-on, Surgery Plus, Teladoc, the iCuba Cares Pharmacist Advocate Program, your health management resources, your Blue Cross and Blue Shield mobile app and tools, as well as the Employee Assistance Program. And then we'll all re also review some of the same great medical prescription, um, behavioral health, dental, and vision plans through Blue Cross for medical, Optum for prescription, Aetna for your behavioral health, Humana for your dental, and iMed for your vision plans. And then we'll discuss some uh, open enrollment housekeeping items. So as a repeat from last year, iCuba is a self-funded medical plan. And what that means is all claims that are processed by the medical, pharmacy, and behavioral health benefit managers are processed by the insurance company, but then ultimately the big claims bill comes to iCuba. Then we pay that claims bill with your premium dollars and reserves that have been built up over the years. So just keep in mind, iCuba pays all premium dollars um, saved for the, we keep all of them saved for the exclusive benefit of you, our members, and we only spend premium dollars on the benefits that you receive, so the claims that you're receiving when you use the iCuba benefit. The plans are specifically designed by educators for educators. We meet monthly at our home office here in, here in Orlando to discuss what's working with the plans and what's not working with the plans. So we hope that you see some enhancements this year, um, really especially with that rally program. And we want um, this plan to help you invest in a long-term culture of well-being so that you can be the best version of yourself. Uh, with all of our members, putting in the effort to be smart consumers last year. We're really pleased to bring you a low increase for the 2020 and 2021 plan year. First, we'll discuss the new iCuba Group AFLAC benefits. Uh, the new plans, as I mentioned before, is the critical illness, hospital indemnity, there's a low and high plan there, and as well as, well as the accident plan. These new group plans will provide you with better benefits at a lower cost in most cases. Guaranteed issue will be offered during open enrollment, so that means no medical questions will be asked. And then as far as your prior plans are concerned, those will no longer be offered through payroll deductions. Portability information for those of you who wish to keep your prior, prior plan will be mailed to you. The first group AFLAC that iCuba will be offering is for critical illness. The coverages are included, which are included in the critical illness policy are listed on the left-hand side of the screen. It will include cancer, invasive, non-invasive, and skin cancer, heart attack, sudden cardiac arrest, coronary artery bypass, major, major organ transplant, bone marrow transplant, kidney failure, and stroke. Some of the features of the critical illness plan is it will pay a lump sum cash benefit to you upon diagnosis of these um, conditions outlined on the left um, if you're diagnosed with one of these conditions after April 1st. Um, the, this plan pays in addition to other insurance coverage and this 
open enrollment, we are offering guaranteed issue amounts up to $30,000 for the employee and up to $15,000 for an eligible spouse. Um, a spouse election cannot exceed 50% of the employee election, so just keep that in mind when you're walking through the enrollment. Uh, just as a heads up, children are automatically covered up to age 26 under the employee election. So if you as an employee make an election, it will automatically cover any dependents, um, any eligible dependents that you have to the age of 26. For all of the AFLAC products that we'll be talking about today, you may take them with you if you change jobs or retire. There is a portability option available to you. We hope that you do not need to cash in on this critical illness benefit this year. We hope that you avoid any of these um, diagnoses on the left-hand side. So if you do not use this benefit, we hope that you remember that you will also be eligible for a $50 annual health screening. Um, this applies to everyone. Um, so is, even if you don't use the critical illness benefit, you are still eligible for the 50 per, the $50 annual health screening. Next is the hospital indemnity plan. Coverage under this plan includes uh, covers hospital admission or confinement due to an accident or illness. Some of the features of the plan is that it pays a lump sum cash benefit to you. It pays in addition to any other insurance co coverage you may have. Uh, again, you may take the coverage with you if you change jobs or retire. Premiums, again, are, are payroll deducted, and there will be no medical questions asked during open enrollment. You have the option to elect one of two levels of coverage. There's a high and low plan. Under the high plan for an admission, it's a $1,000 payment. Confinement is $100, and then intensive care is $100. On, under the low plan, admission pays 500, a confinement 100, and then again, intensive care at 100. We wanted to also provide you with an example of how this plan works as far as payout is concerned. We use the example of pregnancy or, or a delivery. Under the high plan uh, for a pregnancy slash delivery for an admission, there's a $1,000 payout, confinement up to three Three days is $300 for a total payment to you of $1,300. And then if you choose the low plan, admission pays $500. Uh, three days confinement in the hospital pays $300 for a total payment to you of $800. The final group AFLAC, group AFLAC plan that will be offered through iCuba is your accident insurance. Nobody plans for an accident, it's just something that comes your way. Um, but what we want you to be aware of is the finances that maybe come with an accident like that you're not prepared for. So this accident plan can help you cover items and expenses like ambulance rides, emergency room visits, um, any bills that come with a fracture or a burn or a laceration. Any of these accidents do have a lump sum payout amount as um, some of the examples are shown here on the screen. Again, we hope that you do not have an accident this year and this is not a benefit that you need to cash in on. However, this accident plan also comes with that health screening benefit of $50. Next, we wanted to review the 2020-2021 uh, rally program enhancements. I will start off with the survey. Again, for this year, the survey is the gatekeeper. So when you go on uh, after April 1st, make sure you uh, complete that survey. Um, if that survey is not completed, you will not be able to see your rally dollars there on the portal. Uh, wellness exams, the, we enhanced this quite a bit this year. That incentive is up uh, to $60. Last year it was $25. For your biometric screenings this year, it's $40. Again, that's up from $25. And then for your on-site and campus events, um, they're still $10 each, but you do have a, uh, uh, an opportunity to get up to $70 instead of the 50 it was previously. We still have your preventative exams, your PSAs, colonoscopies, and mammograms. $50 is still rewarded for the first claim process. If you have IcubaCare's qualified medication change, you have the opportunity to earn $50. We still have unlimited coins for your missions and city challenges, as well as those iCuba private sweepstakes that come along with those. 
Um, your Teladoc and tobacco attestation is 400 rally coins. And then if you participate in one of the clinical rewards programs, you get 500 coins per quarter completed for a total of 2,000 coins per plan year. And then just one fun uh, feel-good fact, we wanted to provide you guys because we do hear feedback about the coins and the coins, what do we do with them. iCuba members donated more than 4 million coins to charity last year. So kudos to everyone who donated. And then one last thing as far as the coins are concerned, uh, Rally does have some flash sales and deep discounts on health items, uh, vacations, and things like that. So look out for those uh, flash sale emails. Those are a good opportunity to use some of those Rally coins. New for this coming plan year, starting in April, we're introducing the physician results form. So um, you will not you will no longer need an additional finger prick or a blood draw to receive the credit for your biometric screening after April 1st, 2020. You'll log into the same portal at questforhealth.com, um, the same site that you've used in the past, and you can, um, you can simply download the physician results form from this website. From here, you will get a, a unique form um, with a barcode on it. This barcode is identif helps identify you as the employee or your covered spouse. So it's important that you not make copies of this form or share it with your friends. This form is only for you. Um, once you complete your annual wellness exam, including blood work with your own physician, the physician will just fill out on the form um, where it's circled in red, item three, um, they will just fill out your biometric information on the form, and then submission is the final step. So your physician can fax the form to Quest Diagnostics. The fax number is located at the top of the form. And what we're encouraging all of our members to do is also request a copy of the signed form. Um, so just in case your doctor's office misplaces the form or it doesn't quite make it to where it needs to go, you can take the responsibility and um, submit the form on your own, either by faxing it or uploading it to the Quest portal. So we're hope, we hope that you're excited about this new offering and it gives you a chance to complete your biometrics this year. A few rally reminders. We wanted to remind you of the rally, rally Clinical Rewards Program for Chronic Conditions. The Clinical Rewards Program provides you with um, additional educational materials uh, related to your chronic conditions. Some of those conditions are outlined here on the screen. Uh, if you do, uh, if you are diagnosed with one of these conditions, your rally portal will look a little different. Uh, you will have information in those materials on these conditions on the screen. So we do, if you have them there, we do um, suggest that you go ahead and participate, read those materials, and you'll earn those 500 coins each quarter that you achieve your goals for a total of 2,000 rally coins per year. Also, we wanted to remind you of our city challenges and private sweepstakes. iCuba gives away $50 uh, dollar Amazon incentives every 14 days. Uh, you can participate um, by joining one of the city challenges. Each time you reach a milestone, you are automatically entered. Uh, you just need to make sure that your tracking device is synced with Rally. So just to outline the value of the improvements that were made to Rally this year, I'm sure you're all familiar with Emma. She's our decision support um, guru in the iCubaBenefits.org platform. So we used Emma as an example in this slide. By the next open enrollment, we hope this will be her story. Emma would have downloaded the Blue Cross Blue Shield mobile app and was able to locate a Blue Distinction total care provider. With that provider, she received her free annual wellness exam um, because all visits to the Blue Distinction total care provider are always free, and she earned from that wellness exam the $60 rally incentive. During the same visit, her primary care provider also submitted the Quest Physician Results form, earning her an additional $40. From, so from just that single visit, she was able to earn 100 rally dollars. Then at work, Emma was able to participate in five on-site events totaling $50, and she's really hoping for two more since we did increase the on-site events this year. During a recent doctor's appointment, she was diagnosed as diabetic, 
Since then, she's connected with a Blue Cross Blue Shield health coach through Riley's Clinical Reward Program. So she's learned a lot about her condition and to help her control it moving forward. Um, at this time next year, Emma has earned $150 in Rally Rewards, um, which can be cashed in for those electronic gift cards. She's also donated 8,000 coins to various Rally charities, which rotate quarterly. Um, one item to note is Emma did not do anything out of the norm in order to earn $150 at this time next year. She um, still, if she was one of the people that qualify for a mammogram or a colonoscopy, um, those incentives are still outstanding, as well as the iCuba Cares uh, prescription change incentive. So this is just a standard run-of-the-mill employee, and she has already earned $150. Next, we wanted to uh, talk about your employee paid income protection benefits through Symmetra. During open enrollment, you have the opportunity to make first-time elections for your voluntary life insurance coverage. Uh, during this uh, enrollment, no medical questions will be asked if your election is below the guaranteed issue amount. For your, You have the option to enroll in voluntary employee life and vo voluntary employee AD&D. Uh, you can elect in increments of $10,000 up to a maximum of $50,000 or five times your annual salary, whichever is less. Uh, and again, evidence of insurability will be required for elections over $150. And then for your AD&D, that accident um, and dismemberment, uh, that does not require EOI. Uh, there are um, age reductions that apply to the plans. Uh, it reduces by 65% at the age of 65, 40% at the age of 70, and 25% at the age of 75. In order for you to purchase life insurance for your spouse and or your children, you must purchase the voluntary life coverage for yourself. Um, still on the same page as the income protection benefits, this is the brand new benefit that's offered to you. Voluntary spouse life and voluntary spouse A, D, and D options are also available. Spouses can purchase up to 50% of the employee amount in increments of $5,000, not to exceed $250,000. An EOI will be required if you're above the GI amount of $50,000 for the spouse life and AD&D will not ever require an EOI. The child life and child AD&D are also available to you. Child life can be purchased in the flat amount of $10,000. Employees with spouses also employed at another iCuba institution, you cannot both cover a dependent child. So just um, keep that in mind if you have a spouse that also works at a fellow iCuba institution. Um, the child does, life does not require EOI at this time. Again, age reductions apply to the employee and spouse coverages. And also, as a reminder, in order to purchase life insurance for your spouse or your child, you must first purchase voluntary life and coverage on yourself. It's really important for us to note the Symmetra voluntary benefits will require active enrollment this year. You are covered by the basic, um, the, the basic plans, but any voluntary plan will require an additional election this year. Okay, well, next we want to just touch on your beneficiary information. It's very important to make sure that we have a beneficiary on file for you. In the unfortunate event of your death, you just want to make sure that your loved ones have financial support. Your beneficiary information should include uh, that person's legal name, their contact information, and the percentage of benefits that you want to assign to them. Uh, and if you have numerous individuals listed, the amount, uh, the total amount must equal 1,000%. Excuse me, 100%. <laughs> and just keep in mind that if you have a minor under the age of 18, that it is important that you establish a proxy or a trust. Evidence of insurability is not required if it is a first-time election under that GI amount, which we outlined in the prior slides. However, if you do elect over the GI amount, um, there will be a pop-up in the system. 
So if you receive this notice as you're stepping through your enrollment, it is letting you know that an um, EOI will be initiated through Symmetra's single sign-on portal. The, uh, the electronic EOI process must be completed at the time of your enrollment. So um, it is just some medical questions that you will need to answer. And um, you just we just ask that you do the best that you can when that screen pops up. This will be the only chance that you have to complete this, um, these medical questions for your coverage. But again, if you stay below that guarantee issued amount, there will be no medical questions during this enrollment only. Next, we can talk about your flexible spending accounts. Uh, as we know, this does require an active election each year uh, for your flex as well as the dependent care spending accounts. Both of these accounts are funded uh, by you, the employee. You do not need to elect medical coverage in order to enroll in the flexible spending account. For the healthcare flexible spending account, um, as well as the DCA, they're both deducted pre-tax from your paycheck throughout the year. The healthcare flexible spending account funds are available for immediate use on April 1st. For the dependent care spending account, the deposits are uh, made into that account each time you receive your paycheck. The flex funds can be used uh, for, excuse me, the health care flexible spending account funds can be used for health care expenses for you and your eligible tax dependents. Again, you do not need to be enrolled in an IQ and medical plan to enroll in that health FSA. And then just keep in mind this year, the IRS did increase that annual election limit. It's up to $27.50 this year. For the child care uh, FSA, uh, just keep in mind it's very important that those funds can only be used for dependent children up to the age of 13. So if you do have a 12 year old, year old that will be turning 13 within the plan year, you will want to budget and just plan correctly as far as the amount that you want to elect. These dependent care FSA funds can be used for daycare, after school care, summer camps, any gaps in, in school. Um, perhaps there's just a day off or a teacher planning day. These DCA funds can be used if you send your child somewhere for care. Um, the IRS um, yearly maximum limit for the DCA is still $5,000 per household. And then just keep in mind that both of these accounts are use it or lose it. Uh, no amounts will carry over. So just make sure that you plan wisely when you, when you get to these benefits. There is dependent verification built into the system. So when you are stepping through the enrollment, we just ask you that you confirm all the benefits in your enrolled in the iCuban plan are in fact yours. If you do remove a dependent during open enrollment, they will their coverage will terminate as of March 31st. So in case you missed this paragraph, it's in the, uh, the final screen, you are certifying that all dependents are in fact yours. Who is an eligible? Eligible dependent is the legally recognized spouse, an approved domestic partner, an affidavit is required in that case, your natural child, your legally adopted child, a stepchild, a child required to be covered uh, pursuant to a CUMESCO, uh, a child with proof of legal guardianship who resides with you, and a foster child. A child is a dependent until the end of the calendar year in which they turn 26. If you do have a child that is Disabled and over the age of 26, disabled means they are continuously incapable of self-support um, because of a disability. In that case, you are able to have your uh, disabled child over the age of 26 remain on the plan. So you will visit iqbenefits.org to step through your enrollment. Um, during this open enrollment period, you will be confirming uh, and electing benefits for April 1st, 2020 through March 31st, 2021. And the only other time that you'll be able to make changes outside of this open enrollment period is if you experience a qualified life event. So we encourage you to log in, click the Start Your Enrollment button at the top of the screen, and then continue through your enrollment. Emma will be available if you have questions as it relates to your enrollment period. We also wanted to just again remind you of our open enrollment sweepstakes going on again this year. 
during open enrollment, you'll log into iCubaBenefits.org, and when you update or confirm your personal phone number or your personal email address, you will and uh, just go ahead and continue and finalize that enrollment. You will be automatically entered to win uh, win a prize. So we, iCuba works really hard to improve access by eliminating barriers to care. It's really important to be an educated consumer and and understand how the plan pays prior to when you're sitting in the doctor's office. So all the plans are specifically designed to remove barriers to care, and we're going to share with you a few of the ways that we do that. Um, we do have the single sign-on links on the homepage of iCubaBenefits.org. There is a scrolling banner towards the top of the screen. Right under that banner is a section called My Carrier Account. Here we provide links out to all of our brand partner sites. You will only see those links for the plans that you're enrolled in. So just pay attention to those sites. They can be very helpful if you haven't, uh, you've lost your password or you're in a pinch and you just need to get information. We put these links here and we hope that you find them helpful. This chart summarizes a few of the key aspects of the plan. In the far left column, all of these benefits are at no cost to you for you to access. So all the visits to a Blue Distinction Total Care provider, primary care, um, any IQBA, assist, IQBA CARES assistance, immunizations, and the other items that are outlined on the left are always free. Um, in the middle column, these items are never subject to the deductible. So a co-insurance or a co-pay might apply, but never a deductible. For advanced imaging, any visits to the doctor for a common illness, emergency room, um, any physicals or prescription drugs, therapy visits, stuff like that is not subject to the deductible. Then on the far right side, these are the more major services. So for major services like um, hospital stays or in inpatient rehab facilities, stuff like that will always um, require the deductible first. So keep this chart in mind when you're visiting the physician. We also wanted to review that Surgery Plus benefit with you. If you are enrolled in the medical plan, you're automatically enrolled with Surgery Plus. Through Surgery Plus, you have access to the Elite Surgery Plus Surgeons of Excellence Network. All the surgeons are licensed, board certified, fellowship trained, and screened for malpractice sanctions and criminal records. We included some of, a few of the covered surgical procedures, knee, hip, shoulder, uh, any GYN issues, bariatric surgery. Uh, all of these are covered procedures under surgery pus, among many more procedures. There is a financial incentive to getting your surgery done through surgery plus. Uh, if you do, your deductible and coinsurance are waived, so the procedure is at no cost to you. And there is a travel benefit included if you have to travel outside of your home area. They do have also full service concierge, so you have access to a dedicated care advocate throughout your entire healthcare journey. Uh, that advocate can locate uh, the best surgeon for you, schedule timely appointments, help coordinate the transfer of all your medical records, and schedule any follow-up visits if necessary. So if you are, a doctor does tell you that you need a medically necessary surgery, always look to Surgery Plus to see if that can save you some money before checking through Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Teladoc is still also available for a $5 copay, so very low copay. Um, this is telemedicine or video consultations available anytime um, that your doctor is available or unavailable. No, um, there's no time that you would need to um, pre-schedule these. If you feel something coming on at lunch, you can set up an appointment right then. If you're, or if you're on vacation or a business trip, those are all great times to call Teladoc. Um, the, you, we do encourage members to establish an account prior to seeking treatment, and um, upon the first time you're setting it up, the company code will be iCuba. Um, the top reasons why people call Teladoc are listed here on the screen. Items, more minor instances like a sinus problem, pink eye, the flu, a cough, or nasal congestion, these minor illnesses are great reasons to call Teladoc, something that you can easily describe to a physician over the phone. The physicians are able to write prescriptions as needed, but keep in mind it's for the more minor illnesses only. 
Um, there will be no controlled substances or psychiatric or lifestyle drugs prescribed by a teledoc physician. But this is a great resource to have available to you for only $5. Next, we want to review the Icuba Cares Pharmacist Advocate Program. Do you have side effects from a new medication or you were denied at the pharmacy for a prior authorization if you've misplaced that letter that Optum mailed to you? Or you were told you need to try step therapy before taking a certain drug? Or you just want to learn how you can save money by switching to a generic? These are all great reasons, among many more, to call iCuba Cares. They're available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. They are real pharmacists and they really advocate for you when you run into issues and they come up with real solutions. There will be the go-between uh, from the pharmacy through your doctor, getting any prior authorizations and paperwork completed, or you just want to do is what we call the medication checkup. Uh, we really encourage you to give them a call and just see some of the great benefits that they have to offer you. Um, condition management is also available through Aetna and a program called Able To. It helps identify these health and life situations that are outlined on the left-hand side of the screen. So if you or um, a family member that you're taking care of has been diagnosed with one of these health or life conditions, these are great reasons why you should call and get set up with the Able To benefit. The meetings with Able To are web-based video conferencing or telephonic um, sessions. Uh, you will meet once a week with a therapist and once a week with a behavior coach. Um, the sessions do last over an eight-week time frame. During these sessions, you will address emotional challenges and identify health goals and develop an action plan on how to best, you know, take on that health or life condition that you're dealing with. Um, this program does not only you know, help you over the eight week period. We've heard really, really great things from this program and it actually helps you change some of your lifestyle um, actions and it's really a behavior change program. So it'll help you continue into the future. Health management and care consultants. These are our trained advisors and registered nurses who are there to provide you with tools and education. They um, help advocate for you and just help you manage your chronic conditions. Um, so if you receive a call from a number you don't know, um, we are encouraging you just to answer um, because we do have these folks giving you a call. Um, they assist with setting goals to help you better understand your doctor's treatment plans. They support you with referrals, transitions of care, and they can also assist with addressing any gaps in care that you might have. Um, Cuba members with specific health challenges can receive a call from one of our care consultants from Blue Cross, Optum, Icuba Cares, or Aetna. So we highly recommend that you take advantage of these calls when you receive them. These folks are working together to help you manage your conditions and live your life to the fullest. Next, we'll be reviewing the Blue Distinction Total Care Providers. Just a reminder, all medically necessary services received from a family practice, internal medicine, or pediatric Blue Distinction Total Care Provider are always free. Um, as a follow-up also, the Care Connected is in your corner. This is the phone number for Blue Cross Blue Shield customer service that's located on the back of your Blue Cross Blue Shield ID card. They can help with this with claims questions, um, assist you with some billing information or billing assistance, uh, help finding one of those specialty Blue Distinction Total Care providers. Um, they can help connect you with a lifestyle coach or a chronic condition coach. So just a really important phone number for you to remember that's on the back of your ID card. We also wanted to remind you that there is the Blue Cross and Blue Shield My Health Toolkit mobile app available to you. This app has many great features and benefits. You can uh, download a copy of your ID card. You can view your claims, your benefits information, find a provider, get discounts, and much, much more. This is a great tool to have in your pocket when you're in your doctor's office. They have touch ID and facial recognition, among many other things, so we really encourage you to go out and download this app. Next, the Employee Assistance Program is available to everyone at Edward Waters College. You do not need to be enrolled in the iCuba benefits. 
This is just to help assist you with emotional support, life, legal, or financial services, just to name a few. They have a ton of other items that they can assist with. Um, but just as a reminder, if you do need some emotional support, you do have available six free sessions per issue per year, and that is for yourself and every covered mem each member of your household can also gain access to those six free sessions. So with tax season coming up, um, there's a lot of financial questions. If you need any legal assistance, like a will, this is a really cool phone number for you to keep in mind. Next, we wanted to just review the Talkspace uh, benefit. With Talkspace, you can text a therapist. It's an online therapy platform that makes mental health care more convenient and accessible by connecting you with a licensed therapist. You can send them text audio, pictures, and video via a web browser or the Talkspace mobile. You usually can expect to hear from your therapist within one working day during their business hours, five days per week. And just keep in mind that on average, one week of Talkspace messaging equals one EAP session. We have some information here on the screen for you. Uh, you do have to call and get authorization before you register. Um, but we do hope that you, um, if you're not one for going to the office, that you can take uh, advantage of this benefit as well. We have several mobile apps for you to help break down, down those barriers as well. Um, all of our brand partners do come with their own mobile app where you have easy access to the benefits information or your claims that you'll need um, if you're in a pinch. It's also good to have this with you um, so you have the insurance carrier with you at all times in your pocket. And we also have some good news. The same great benefits will remain uh, for these brand partners that you see listed here on the screen, Florida uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Optum, Aetna, Humana, and iMed. And so we're re reviewing some of those benefits uh, here shortly. First, we'll review the medical plan highlights. This is a reflection of the in-network only um, benefits that are come with the preferred PPO and the Premier Copay plan. Just to note, these plans are not changing from last year, so this is just a little snapshot of how they are and how they um, are operating for you. Next is the prescription drug plan through OptumRx. We still have those same tiers of coverage available to you. We still have the 30-day retail. You also have the option of doing 90-day retail or by mail. Um, so nothing, again, is changing here. We do want to remind you of a name change for your specialty medication um, for Briover RX. Um, but other than that, nothing much will be changing. We also wanted to point your attention to some of the prescription drug freebies. If you're a diabetic, all of your prescribed diabetic supplies, including your meters, lancing devices, lancet, test strips, control solution needles and syringes, adult aspirin, folic generic acid, generic prenatal vitamins, and if you're eligible, generic prescribed statins are always free under the iCuba plan. And then also there is a separate out-of-pocket maximum just for prescription drugs for those of you who are on many prescriptions but you don't get a chance to go to the doctor office, uh, doctor's office often, you do have that added income protection. And just a reminder that a 90-day supply will save you some money. So there's a co-insurance or a co-pay break for a 90-day supply. Thank you, Rachel. Behavioral health and substance abuse benefits are remaining unchanged. All the behavioral health and substance abuse benefits will still go through the Aetna brand partner. Through this Aetna benefit, you have access to professional counseling, psychiatric medication evaluation, those ABA services for autism spectrum disorder, and also available to you are intensive services should you need them. Um, so it is the same phone number as the employee assistance program, except for option one would be EAP, and option two can connect you with the behavioral health component of it. Next, we just wanted to give you uh, an overview of your medical premiums for this upcoming plan year. So depending on the plan and tier that you choose, you can get an idea of how much it'll cost you per pay period. The Humana Dental plans are also unchanged. We're still offering the three plan um, options for you to choose from. Um, 
two notes that I will make for the preventive low plan, the, this is for preventive or basic services only. So if you do need a major service like a root canal this year, um, the preventive low plan would not cover a major service like that. So the preventive plan or for preventive or basic services. On the DHMO plan, I will caution you that this is for uh, network provider assignments are required and in the state of Florida only. So if you, you must have that pre-selected dentist in order to seek dental treatment. And there is a spot available for you at iCubaBenefits.org in order to um, make arrangements for that pre-selected dentist. And again, here are your monthly dental plan premiums for the high, preventative plus, and the DHMO option. Finally, we'll be reviewing the IMED vision plans. These are also unchanged for the coming year. Two things to note for you. The base plan allows frames every 24 months with a $100 allowance for frames and contact lenses while the buy-up plan allows for frames every 12 months with a $130 allowance for frames and contact lenses. And again, here are your monthly IMED vision plan premiums uh, for the 2021 plan year. So just to finish out with some open enrollment housekeeping items, Changes made during your open enrollment period will remain in place for the full plan year, which begins April 1, 2020 and ends March 31, 2021. Any changes made outside of open enrollment do have to be attached to a qualified life event, such as the birth of a baby, a marriage or adoption, or a gain or loss of other coverage, just to name a few. But if you are in a situation that does open up a qualified life event, you must make all changes within 30 days of your qualified life event. Um, the follow-up item also for the 1095 tax form, the 1095 is not required to file your taxes this year, but don't worry, we will save it safely for you in your employee file at iCubaBenefits.org, just in case you're ever audited by the IRS for any reason. Just to let you guys know, all requirements of healthcare reform are currently in place. In fact, the IQBA plans offer more generous free wellness benefits than are required by law. And as a reminder, each and every year, in addition to verifying your current benefit offerings and making sure that you make any changes or updates that you wish during open enrollment, it's also a good time to review and update your life insurance beneficiary information. And just a note that if you're designating a beneficiary under the age of 18, you want to contact an estate planner or an established or proxy or a trust. So we want to thank you again for your attention to this presentation. We are so excited about our 18th year of continued service to all of our 27 member schools. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.